I bought a junk drawer. It wasn't this drawer, it was my drawer. But this is all a bunch of BS. And they're out of Chicago, Illinois. Boyer Schultz. So this is a 5702 kind of style tooling. But it has 5 eighths shank. So where I can put that into my turret. right? So I got a, a, a couple little doodads for my turret. Uh, and, and with this, you put a tool in here and you have these little dovetails. And those dovetails um, would hold the tool's wheels, right? So I got a whole bunch of them in this box, but there's these little wheels. And what you did was you put a stock and it would rub against the wheels. And there was this little, um, I guess it's like a little slot for a um, washer. And that washer sets the depth of this on these little tools so uh of course i bought I, you know for 75 bucks on this archaic technology you can just get you know somebody's junk drawer uh but uh i need junk in order to 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 turn gold to to, to make these gold bars so uh i got a this is a double cutter so this tool has you put the stock inside of it and it you adjust these depth right so i guess that's a quarter of an inch but i imagine uh, because it's cylindrical it would be double that so you line those up and it would be zero zero and poof away it goes so who makes that bunch of bs brown and sharp six zero dash three hundred uh so why am i get doing this okay so the first stop first stop on our tour you set the stop. Uh, this is not geometric threading. I got this in the lot. So this was a stopper. So here you would set your depth with that tool. Uh, but also the thing about this tool is it, it spins. So it sets the depth very precisely. And then you can spin. I had this uh, center as well for spinning. But I didn't have this piece, so I needed one of these uh, to, to hold this MT1. So I found this little tiny MT1 kit. And you can, you know, put different centers in there. And it was very, very small. It was the smallest one I could find because I wanted to keep the tools super tight on this. Uh, so what this would do is it would, it would shave the outside to a very, very specific diameter based on this little... Uh-huh, little scale, diameter, right? So a half inch, so it travels one quarter of an inch. That's the size of the tool. So that's one half inch. So look, you can adjust it. Another, more BS. Five one, 100 dash one. I found some of the rollers. He had a, you know, they had a bunch of them. So I was able to put together a one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six tools. Um, out of out of the lot, maybe maybe four and a half, maybe one usable one, one that I can rely on for this thing. Uh, so what you would do is you would rough cut it here, right? You would rough cut it to this size. You would precision cut it to this size, and then you would thread it using uh, the chasers and dies. So so you know you get it down, big, precise, final. 75 bucks that's uh you buy somebody's junk drawer so ebay it's a very very weird and strange place sometimes and this is not the first junk drawer i bought from this guy so just a bunch of bs